Okay, I'm going to be doing some more modifications and upgrades on my Traxxas Teton. So what you already know is that I've done all the swing arms out of aluminium and changed them from plastic. But one modification that I have done that I've already jumped ahead and done is I have upgraded this to a brushless system. Now it's only a 2S brushless system because that's all I had on the shelf at the time, but I will put in a bigger can size later on. So like I said, it's a 2S ESC, about a 35 amp, and the can size is a 2430, uh, 7,200 kV. So it's exactly the same size as what's come out in the brush system. So that's the original uh, ESC with the brushed motor right there. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit with the motor and also with the ESC fitting right inside that cradle on the top. And the bonus with this Traxxas is that it already came with a three wire servo. So I don't need to change the steering servo in order to get this thing going. So there will be one more upgrade that I'll be doing on the Teton and that is upgrading to metal drive shafts. As you already know, these ones come stock standard in plastic and they're starting to get a little bit bent and wobbly. So we're gonna change them out to uh, metal drive shafts. And one other thing that I do like is get one of these metal trays, metal magnetic trays, look at that. Nothing will fall out ever and you'll never lose a screw. Get them at your local hardware shop. And there is a better close up of the new metal drive shafts. You can see them there and I will put a link in the description to where you can get these. All right, let's get started. We'll uh, take off the wheels. So you can see on the stock standard plastic shaft, it's just a plastic universal joint. Whereas the new ones are encased in a CVD, which is a central velocity joint. So these will be much more better and they're more protected from uh, dirt and grime and stuff like that. A little bit hard to see in there, but obviously you've probably seen these before. So we're gonna go ahead now and install all four brand new CVDs. So the front ones, the casing on the new CVDs on the metal drive shafts are a little bit thicker than the plastic ones and I've realised they don't fit through the, uh, the front C-hubs. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to remove the steering arm off the C-hub and then I'll have to um, push them in that way because I thought I could push them in from the back but they don't fit uh, through this C-hub right there. So all four drive shafts are done. They went in nice and easy and they're running nice and smooth. So now we're gonna take this out for a test drive, check out these drive shafts, make sure they're okay. And most important, check out this upgraded brushless system. And since I've done the brushless upgrade, I will be using two types of LiPo batteries now. Uh, 2200 milliamp, 7.4, and a 1500 7.4. Now it's got to work out how I'm going to get them in there. So probably something like that. Got the Velcro on the bottom. I have to put like a strap over the top or something like that. And probably do the same for this one. So it's going to sit something like that there. So I'll probably end up taking off the battery cradle and that one can sit in there. Something like that. Put a strip of Velcro underneath and 
try and tie it over somehow with an elastic band or something like that. So, all right, guys. So I'm on location. So I've just come to a local skate park today, and so like I said, I'm going to be testing out the the new uh, brushless motor and ESC that I've put in there. 2S system and also the brand new CVDs that I've changed over from plastic to metal and also like last time I've got these brand new uh, swing arms on there as well. So we're going to give this a bash today at the uh, local skate park and uh, see how we go with it. So we'll just give it some standard basic runs for now, go through this dome. As you can see with the brushless system, it is much more quicker. Great. Oh, tumble wumble. I won't steal that from someone. Someone else says that. Might get a copyright law on that one. Nice. Oh, nearly had that one. Oh, nearly had that one. Oh. Tough little teeth on this thing, like, if you don't give it hell, it's a great little car. And like I said, this thing just, you get it right and it just floats through the air. It's a case of trying to get up here now Ugh. to do a run up. Can't get up here, it's too steep for me. Ugh. Oh, nearly had that. All right, back down again. Uh oh, what have I done? Oh, another shock has popped out and it's popped out the dog bone, but that's okay. Oh, and no, I've broken it. Damn you. Damn, damn, damn. All right, completely snapped it off from, that's not even the shock tower. What would you call this bit here? Ah, oh, geez, I'm gonna have to get a new piece. This top plate is what you would call it. Completely broken off. Oh, well, that was disappointing. That's me going too hard sometimes, but might have to do an upgrade on this too now. Might have to get this in a metal piece. Gee, it's not, if you look at that, it's not real, it's not holding on by quite a lot, is it? So it's just like a little piece just right in there. Oh, that's actually on the, um, oh, that's the diff casing. Oh, no, that's not even the top plate. That's the diff casing. Damn, damn. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need a new diff case now. Okay, game over for this one. And apart from all the other testing on the car, the motor and the ESC did hold up quite well. Uh, the motor did get a little bit too hot, even though it is a 7,200 kV motor. So I might downsize that motor a little bit to maybe a 5,500. And obviously I'll make the can size just that little bit bigger. So it keeps the temperature down. Uh, the swing arm still held up okay. All the CVDs. Are still nice and straight as you know i've changed them all to metal and the only other other thing i'm waiting on is new shockers as well so i'll be getting an upgrade on these because i find that the top cups just uh once you land funny um they just sort of pop off so um we change the knees and i'll get some better quality ones all right so this one's going to be sitting on the shelf for a while until i get these new upgraded parts so don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.